everybody. I'm Mary with Cascade Tech, and I have my partner over here, Catherine. Hey, Mary. But the star of the show is the Cascade Tech TFO forced air ovens. I'm going to give you a quick overview on how forced air ovens work and some of the features of the TFO oven. Okay, this is a forced air oven. So for all your Betty Crockers out there, that's like a convection oven in your house. We all know that the convection oven has a fan in it and it blows hot air across the food in an oven and it ends up cooking the food faster and more uniformly. Same deal with a Cascade Tech forced air oven. The way it works is there are louvers on the side and back of this oven and that's where fresh air is drawn in past across heaters across a fan, and then that air is forced in a horizontal pattern across the shelves. The top exhaust port is adjustable. You can exhaust out the back. It also features an nope. access port. Can you exhaust out the back? Did I say, sorry, exhaust out the top. The top. The access port in the back there you go. allows you to run thermocouple wires, power cords, things like that inside the oven. Door gasket. Mm. Let me say something about the door gasket. The Cascade Tech ovens are gener generally rated to about 300 degrees C. That's hot. That is hot and that's beyond hot for most people. They don't need to go that hot. This door gasket here is really only comfortable with about 230 five degrees C. Is that right, Catherine? That's right, good silicone. Mm -hmm. So the oven will come with a door gasket that can take about 235 degrees C. If for some crazy reason you need to go hotter than 235 degrees C, please let us know and we will change out this gasket to a high, high temp gasket that will be able to achieve the 300 degrees C mm -hmm. that you need. Mm -hmm. Or we could send it to you. You could do it yourself. Yes. Easy field retrofit. Yes. We'll show you how. Let's say a few words about the Cascade Tech control panel. Cascade Tech oven controller is a fully programmable ramp and soak controller. What that means is that you can write what we call temperature profiles. So for example, I want to start at ambient room temperature. I want the oven to go up to 100 degrees C. I'd like to stay there for four hours. And then at four hours, I'd like to go to 150 degrees C. And then at the end of that four hours, I'd like the oven to turn off. This controller is capable of doing that automatically for you if you program it. Now, my VCR at home still flashes 12, so... <laughs> That's a, true, actually. In a separate video, uh, Catherine will explain how to write what we call a ramp and soak profile. But Mary, what if you don't want to use the front panel to do your ramp and soak profile? Aha! Aha! What's great about this controller is that it comes with a free piece of software called the configurator software. This will be with your manual. Installing that on your computer will allow you to program your Wattlow controller, save the settings, and watch the controller in action if it is in fact plugged in. So Cascade Tech can provide you with the RS-485 D-pin connection cable to USB connection to your computer. That will allow you to actually program and inter interface with this controller via your Windows-based computer environment. Another feature that's really great about the Wattlow controller on our TFO ovens is that it has a built-in high limit control, sometimes called an over, over temp protection failsafe device. This is something that you'll need to set before you use your oven. Let's say, for example, what you're putting in the oven will, will be destroyed at 200 degrees C, or it's very expensive and you would like to 
protect it. But you know you want to dry it at 150 degrees C. So if it's destroyed at 200 degrees C, and, but you need to bring it to 150 degrees C, set the over temp limit on this controller to say 175. It's fully independent FM rated over temp protection. So if for some crazy random reason you have a temperature runaway condition, the high temp limit control or over temp protection will kick in and it will actually cut power to the heaters. That's a great feature to have. Catherine will do a separate video that will show you how to set the over temp protection on your oven before use. Let me tell you, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure.